what's up? My name is Flip from Flip Force Gaming and I'm about to show you how to play a Twisted Path to Renown. This is basically a beginner's guide but you can also use this video to see if you like the game before you buy it. If you haven't bought the game yet, you can buy a Twisted Path to Renown through the link in the description and use code FLIPFORCE10 for 10% discount. Right, now that all that is out of the way, let's get started. Okay, let's start at the very beginning. What you see here is the roster screen. As you can see, I have zero hired recruits at the moment. If I click this button, I will get to the recruitment screen, which is here. And there I have a whole bunch of recruits that I can recruit. So these people, they all come with a bunch of stats. Now some have pretty bad stats and some have pretty good stats. The ones that you pay for usually have pretty good stats like this guy 5% increased stamina 10% increased sprinting speed which is pretty nice but he costs $1.20 and yeah $1.20 is a lot of money <laughs> in 1899 so what you can do is you can look for the free recruits they come with a whole bunch of disabilities basically this guy has minus 15% sprinting speed so he's he's super slow he has minus 25% weapon reloading speed, so he reloads very slow as well. Minus 50% aiming speed, uh, speed so he, he's slow when aiming. While aiming, it's, it's, it's just, his aim is just super slow. <laughs> he's, he's slow, this guy is just super slow. And then he has minus 50% weapon drawing speed, so he's very slow on the draw as well. And then he also has 1.5 tremor, so he shakes when you aim down sights which is pretty hard because yeah you know you're shaking when you're aiming so that's pretty rough now i'm just gonna click here search new recruits i will get a whole bunch of new recruits and as you can see i gained two new uh, free recruits there as well i've got three free recruits that i can get and then the rest is all paid now if you just start the game uh, and you're level one I believe you get five free recruits that you can choose from. Now, I don't have that, so I have three. But I usually just go uh, for the one with the, the least disability. Now, this one is not too bad. You can kind of counter that later when you extract a few times with this guy. You can actually buy perks and increase the sprinting speed. So you can counter the disability. Now I'm just gonna hire this guy. He comes with a shotgun, a backpack, side back, band, sidearm, bit of ammo. As you can see, the, the ones that you pay for, they don't have a backpack and they don't have a weapon. So the free recruits, they do come with disabilities, but they do have a weapon. It's low in durability though. This weapon is probably gonna break down really, really quickly. Uh, the backpack is quite small, but hey, a backpack is better than no backpack so I'm just gonna hire this guy now when I go back to my roster screen he is here and this is his equipment so he's got a weapon some ammo pistol holster a haversack and a hobo satchel now if I go to equipment here I can actually give him some stuff from my inventory but Especially on your first raids, I wouldn't I wouldn't use anything. I would just go in absolutely naked. And then you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Now here in the progression, after you've extracted, you'll have some experience. And you can actually buy these perks, these abilities. So this guy is a slow sprinter. What you could do is you could go for sprint training to increase his sprint speed and make him a better sprinter. Because it's quite annoying when your character is quite slow. Right, so we've had the progression, we've had roster equipment, recruitment. Now it's time for the vault. This is your storage. This is where all your items that you extract with will eventually end up in. You will have to manually put every single item in the storage in the vault. So let's say I just extract with this pepper box, I will have to manually drag it towards the vault okay so the vault can be upgraded you can get more storage uh, in order to do so you need these permits advanced and 
basic. That's the, the ones I need right now. Then I need oak logs, glue, chisel, and a hand hammer. So I have the hand hammer, I have the chisel, I have the advanced fold, and I don't have all of these. I don't have glue, I don't have oak log. Now once I have those, I can upgrade and I will get another fold right here. Right, this here is the market. You can actually buy and sell stuff to traders. Now they don't all buy and sell everything. You gotta find the trader that sells or buys whatever you need. So for example, this weapon is well worn and I wanna get rid of it. This guy pays five cents for it, so I'll drag it here and I will sell it. Bam, five cents richer. <laughs> awesome. So the higher your reputation level, so the more you sell, uh, the higher your trade volume, the more reputation you get the more items they sell. So this guy is reputation level two out of four. I don't, he doesn't sell anything yet, but um, I'm sure when I'm level four, he will buy, or uh, he will have a lot of stuff to sell. This guy two out of three, not too many items yet. Three out of three, he's selling everything that he has right now. This guy also three out of three. One out of two, so I need to I need to work on this. I need to I need to increase my reputation. So sometimes they have like missions. She wants this book, so you go into a, into a raid. You get this book and you sell it to her. You give it to her. All right, moving on to the auction. Now the auction is new to me. I haven't really done anything in the auction yet, but. I guess this speaks for itself. You can buy or sell items from and to other players. You can buy clothing, you can buy weapons. So yeah, just uh, take a look in the auction. If you've got a bit of money to spend, you can check this out. Or you can sell stuff here as well to get rich. <laughs> All right, we have arrived at the workshop. This is where you can craft and repair items. Now, for example, if I wanted to repair this pepper box here, 31%, I would just drag it here. And then, <laughs> for example, I want it to be 32%, then I can do that. If I have a revolver trigger guard, then I just click repair and the weapon gets repaired. Now, if I wanted to repair it to 80%, I need revolver trigger guard, backstrap, assembly screw, ejector tube, mainspring, revolver frame, cylinder paw, ejector rod, trigger, screwdriver, ejector spring, and oil. Now I don't have these items, so I can't repair this. So too bad. <laughs> I will have to do with this shitty worn weapon. <laughs> doesn't matter all right this here is the crafting it's uh, pretty straightforward in order to craft something you need items and those items you can find in raid certain items that you need you can also craft for example for uh, woodworking you will or I mean yeah yeah so for woodworking you need logs uh, you can you can get logs you need a uh, an axe now this axe you can craft yourself or you can find them in a raid as well by the way but you can craft them and you need a hand hammer tools handle and an axe head now i don't have a tools handle so i can't make one big sack pickaxe same thing except you need a pickaxe head instead of an axe head and then granulating screen you can make that as well now just to show you how it works it's very easy. I want to make this pants, 100% pants. I just uh, select it, add to queue, and it'll get in queue. Now it will craft it once this one is done. They don't craft at the same time. You will have to wait until this one is done and then this one will be made. 
So this one takes uh, two hours and 15 minutes still. I'm mining lead ore. And this one is going to take two hours and 52 minutes. This also works while you're offline. If you're not in the game, this will just continue. So if I go away for five hours now, when I get back, this is finished. All right, so we've been through all the menus. Now it is time to jump into a raid. As you can see, there is only one available map right now. This one is coming soon. This one is in development. Arizona Forest is where we are going to go right now. Right, so especially when you first start playing this game, the map is quite difficult to traverse. So right now I am in the western part of High Forest, which obviously is, is right here. I'm here somewhere. Now, once you load into a map, you can see where you spawn. It shows you in the bottom of the screen. This time I spawned in the western part of High Forest, but obviously you can spawn somewhere else as well. Now if you look on the map, you see a few points of interest. We've got Plains, TP Settlement, TP Settlement, Fort Dixon, High Forest, Lumber Camp, Caravan Camp, uh, Southern Ravine, Northern Ravine, Scotts & Co. Iron Mine, Fisher Log Cabin, Annie's Village, Swamp, Blue Ridge River. That's the whole, that's obviously the whole river. <laughs> uh, we've got the Plains, we've got Burnt Forest, Military Medic's House, Fishing Station, Eli's Farm. And we've got a big tree here <laughs> on this little island. And there's, uh, there's a camp here and there's a cabin. Now on the right here are extraction zones. Right now we've got a horseman, we've got abandoned horse, we've got road passage, and we've got bonfire. Now bonfire is available for another 7 minutes, road passage is available for another 10 minutes, abandoned horse is available till whenever somebody uses it, but it, as you can see it's ha it has a maximum of one person, so if you're playing this in a squad, then only one person in that squad can actually exfil there. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is so random. I love it. I think he's hurt too. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm not sure if I hit him. <laughs> wow. This game, unbelievable. Right, so as you can see, <laughs> right now I am hurt. I am hurt. You can see that in the left uh, of the screen, you see the indication of my arm, my chest, my head, everything, my legs. Let's go to equipment. I've got nothing, but here you can actually see uh, these are not really healable anymore. Oh, they are still healable, but I, I just don't have anything to heal, so uh, that's a shame. Now, he hit me in the chest pretty hard as well. 71 out of 180. When, when the chest goes to zero, you die. <laughs> if you don't heal yourself and you get shot in the chest again, you will die. Now, you can die of thirst and hunger as well. Uh, you want to keep your stomach fullness at zero, your hydration all the way on the maxed out and your energy all the way maxed out as well. Energy increases by eating, S hydration increases by drinking obviously. Now stomach fullness also increases uh, when you drink and eat so you want to keep this as low as possible because it has impact on carrying capacity and stamina so if you're too full you will run uh, you, you can't run that far because you'll get tired too quick and you cannot carry as much as well so it is harder to walk and run okay so I yeah wanted to go find a rake and 
uh, oregano, but <laughs> I think my plan kind of changed because of this super random encounter with that player. Uh, I am still in the western part of High Forest. Now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get to this little camp here. There's a few AI there that I could maybe kill and... And then probably get out of the raid. <laughs> My shotgun misfired. <laughs> right, that did not go according to plan <laughs> at all. <laughs> so I spawned northwest from Annie's village, and that is like somewhere over here. Uh, now I know there is a nice little camp here that I can go to, uh, so that's where I'm headed. And then I'm gonna try and find a rake. And some oregano. I could. Oh. There's an AI patrol right there. I'm gonna try and avoid these guys. I don't wanna engage them. Because I'm out in the open and all I have is a pepper box, which is a extremely close range weapon, so. I don't think it would be smart to engage them. Now, like I said earlier, there's a whole bunch of points of interest on the map. Now that's Annie's village. There's a lot of AI right there. So if you're just starting out and you're learning the game, and you don't have good weapons, don't have good gear, don't go there. Don't avoid that place at all costs. <laughs> Nice spots to go to is this little camp, for example. Now there's usually three AI here. It's here, right here. And don't be... Don't be... Right, there's usually three AI over here and they are quite rough to beat so don't be too confident because overconfidence gets you killed in this game. Dead AI, somebody cleared this already. Let's see if he still has some loot. He's got a Muscatoon, 100%. Oh, I'm, I'm taking that. Definitely taking that. He's also got a better side bag, so I'm taking that as well. Better shoes. Look at that. One man's trash is another man's treasure. It even has a scope. I'm a lucky boy. <laughs> and let's see what's in the crates. So I am looking for a rake and a bit of oregano. Now that's not here, but these things are all use useful as well, so I am going to bring those with me. Raw potato, I'll just bring it with me. Metallic box, I'll bring it. Homebrew, I'll bring it as well. This is alcohol, and alcohol gives you pain resistance, but it also decreases your hydration regeneration which is quite bad because if you get thirsty and you need to drink chances are you are going to die from hydration now this right here i wanna check oh, look at that oh i'm taking i'm taking that back there is a better bag here i want it Oh, another tip, because I already do it wrong, but you need to have your ammo in your pockets or in a gun belt, in an ammo belt, 
because if you have it in your bag you cannot reload your weapon right so this weapon is now not loaded i see so i need to quickly reload ai coming dropping a bag and i'm picking up this bag That's a kill. Uh, quickly reload. Bad blood here, partners. You're gonna be Got me a bit. But still stay This weapon is super slow on the reload. There's one more. Found trouble. Not sure where he is, he's on the other side of the tent. Oh, he's right there, underneath that little tent there. Oh, he's not dead. I did hit him. Bad blood's here, partners. Keep them at bay! Let's see if they have some healing for me. Oh, look at that rifle holster. I'll take it. Oysters. I'll take that as well. Extra ammo. Cedar log. I'm gonna just ignore that right now. So my shirt is almost done for. So I'll grab his shirt. And his pants are better too. So I'll take his pants as well. Right, my muscatoon is 96%, his is 35%. I'll keep mine. Right, so I'm already over my carrying capacity, which kind of sucks. Because that makes me slower. Sardines. Take that. So food and drink give you hydration and energy obviously this one gives you quickness as well hydration regeneration but also 321 millimeter stomach fullness so you want to keep the stomach fullness as low as you can because when it's full you'll have less carry capacity and less stamina so you can run um well you can run less long you can sprint less long your stamina runs out quicker 44% gun belt, pistol holster, I mean, I'll take it, 69% pepper box, I'll bring it with me, I'll leave the ammo here, and then the last guy is all the way, wait, let me check this here first. Ejector tube, I need that. Okay, I'm gonna drop the homebrew and grab the other stuff. Also, I'm not gonna bring the metal box, I'll bring this cylinder ball. Nice, all the way up here. Okay, so I am hurt right now. If I get hurt in the chest once more, I will die. Uh, I think 49 out of 180. That is pretty low. If your chest row, uh, if your chest goes to zero, you die. It's as simple as that. <laughs> so yeah, don't don't die. 
try to heal up if you can. If you have any healing, then use it. But uh, if you don't, then be very, very careful. Right, so Axfills are conductor, horseman, boat, abandoned horse and dead tree. This is south of TP settlement. This is the southeast of Fort Dixon. I am all the way up here. This one you need money, 10 cents. I don't have any on me right now, so I can't use these two. The boat is all the way over here, south of TP settlement. Abandoned horse, southeast of Fort Dixon. It's like here somewhere. And then the dead tree is all the way over here in the plains. Now, as you can see, this one has 17 minutes remaining. This one has no time. These all don't have any time, but once the axle has been used by a team or by a person or a solo or a team, then the axle disappears. They rotate in and out. When the time runs out for this one, it will disappear as well. Now, I am in a bit of a tough spot right here because it's quite far and I am over my carrying capacity so it's going to take a long time to get there now I could obviously stay here and hopefully wait and then get a better exfil like swamp there's one here as well uh, it's very risky to, to travel far and wide in this game for an axle because sometimes when you run all the way, let's say, let's say I run all the way from here because I'm here right now. I run all the way to here to the plains to the dead tree to take this extraction and I'm like here and the extraction disappears because maybe the time ran out or somebody just used it right in front of me. Now then the, the axle disappears and I can't use it anymore. So it's rough because then what happens is your hydration is probably going to be low your energy is probably going to be low you're going to be thirsty you're going to be hungry and you've probably already used your food or drink and then um, you could end up dying from thirst or hunger <laughs> yeah that can happen so keep that in mind when going for an axe more sardines, I'll just take it. I'm gonna drop the oysters. I'm gonna bring the sardines with me. Too bad there's no healing here. Healing would have been very, very nice. So the gunfire you hear, that's other players shooting AI. So if you want to PvP, you go towards the gunfire. If you want to avoid PvP, you go away from the gunfire. For a second there, I thought I heard footsteps. I think I'm mistaken. I just heard the bush. Right, so I'm constantly checking the map to see if an Axville uh, disappears and another shows up but it seems that that's not happening at the moment so I am going to try and risk it I'm gonna risk it and go all the way south towards the dead tree in the plains walking through water is very slow We 
you gotta keep moving south. Now, you have a compass here so you can see in which direction you're walking. So I'm now facing southeast. And obviously that's the direction I want to go in because I'm, I'm like here somewhere. So I want to go southeast because I need to go all the way over here. 12 minutes. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if I'm going to make it. It's uh, quite a long run. But I'm going to try. fire behind me just keep running oh, there's a fort over there these forts are uh, quite difficult but they are soloable you can do it solo but it's uh it's pretty difficult AI is ruthless in this game so be wary if you go to a fort if you manage to wipe all the AI, there is a lot of loot there and it's a hot spot for players, so watch out for other players there as well. A lot of people, what they tend to do is um, they wait until somebody clears it out and then they kill the player that cleared it out and they clear and they, they start looting. It's happened to me, <laughs> I've done it to others, it happened to me. It's uh, it's ruthless. The game is absolutely ruthless. So that's this fort. So I am coming up to burnt forest. So I can already see a bunch of burnt trees over there. Now, oh, when your stamina is low, you just, uh, what you want to do is you want to crouch and just wait until your stamina is completely regenerated. Alright, there we go. I didn't reload my weapon, so I will quickly do that now because here in the bird forest there can be AI, they patrol here. So you want to be vigilant. Now the burnt house is over there. That's here. Burnt house, that's the axe sometimes as well. AI right there. I'm not gonna engage. There's two of them. I'm just gonna keep moving. It's too risky. If they hit me in the chest, I'm done for. So I don't want them to take shots at me, obviously. Alright, take a breather. Okay, 
if that tree is still available eight more minutes I will make it but um I will make it time wise but of course another player could potentially take that axe before I do and that would suck because if that happens the axe will disappear and I will have to find another one My hydration is very low so I'm gonna use the sardines using sardines is easy you just drag them towards your body and you will drink your sardines now you can also equip them and then drink but uh, I usually just uh, open the map or the map the <laughs> equipment menu and I will drink the sardines the food eat drink whatever all right dead tree seven minutes let's go here shortly So I'm already thirsty again, even though I just drank. Sardines. Does give you max hydration regeneration for 10 minutes. Ah, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't pay attention enough. That sucks. I will still have to use it though. Okay, so now when you're thirsty, you will start hurting. Your stomach will uh, will hurt from it. And once your stomach goes black, it will go to your chest. And once your chest goes black, you're dead. Once you're in pain, your screen will go red. Like you can see right now. So the dead tree is over there. I will make it before I die. <laughs> is it still an exfil though? Yes, it is. Four minutes and I don't see any players. Okay, I just passed out because of the because of the pain. This is rough. This is very rough. I will have to be quick. I will get there before I pass out again I think yes there you go all right so it takes 60 seconds before I exfil now that is going to be a close call because my stomach is quite hurt and once it goes black once my stomach is too much damaged it will 
jump over to my chest and my chest will start hurting now my chest is already low so that is quite a problem 30 seconds left I think I can make it Five more seconds. We got this. GG's. Successful extraction. All right, so I gained some experience, 302, and I gained renown as well. Turn to Vault. Now, what I usually do first is I just drag everything to my Vault and I will sort everything later. I don't care about it too much right now. Then I go over to progression. I've got 302 experience. So the renown is your account level, basically. And experience is character based. So when this character dies, all the experience she had will die with her. Uh, it's a female. <laughs> so her. Um, so what you can do is you can look here at their disabilities. If you've gone with a free character, they, they will have disabilities. This one has minus 5 strength and minus 20 carrying capacity. Now strength influences uh, impacts carrying capacity. So I can go for strength to kind of counter the minus 5% strength that she has and increase my carrying capacity a little bit. Now the next step in the strength training is 450, so uh, 450. So I can't buy that because I have only got 152. Now what I usually go for is like sprint training uh, or some other one that is uh, 150. There isn't, so <laughs> I'll just buy the sprint training. So you're a little quicker. 